I mean, Vega, I'm obviously terribly biased, but I, I love Vega. Ali sente prova affetto per il nemico. Questo non la rende lucida. The tagline of this season is pick a side, but I really find it difficult to do it because you are so mean, so evil. So how can we pick a side? Do you have one? Who's the best side in your opinion? Helena. Yeah, Helena side. I think you Team Helena. Pick Helena, yeah. <laughs> um, if you're stuck. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the answer is obvious for us, isn't it? It's yeah, it's Team Green. It is Team Green all the way. I do think that, of course, what you're what you're touching on, which I think we would really agree with as well, is that it, the beauty of the show is that it's more complicated than that. Mm. You see, well, I'd like to think that we see you see reasons why Team Green would be. A lot of people would say there's mm. no reason. Yeah, yeah, but you're a reason, I think. That's a, a well, reason. maybe, yeah. Good character. I think, yeah. I think, yeah, there's, there's good and bad on both sides, you know, and, and mm. I think you're going to see that this season, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, my side is the dragon side, because I think that no, no one of you deserves them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So true. Yeah. Um, what, what is your relationship with the dragons in the show, in this season? Um, well, Eamon, he, he was the only kid in the family that he was never gifted a, a dragon egg like a, a lot of the other kids you know there's this dynamic that as the person grows so does this um so does this hatchling mm -hmm. you know they kind of become an extension of at least, at least i like to think they, they become an extension of the character and and Damon, he never had that he was different and he was he was bullied for being different and so he took it upon himself to to track down um vega on on the beaches of driftmark and he ended up claiming he ended up claiming her, which is a tremendous feat, you know, for a ten year old to, to do that. <laughs> and yeah, and so I I think I mean Vega, I'm obviously terribly biased, but I, I love Vega. Um and that's our kind of dynamic, but as we know, Aymond he hasn't got the best control over her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the first word that we hear in, in, in the first episode is duty. Uh duty is thicker than blood. Uh what what is your relationship your character's relationship with duty in this season i think it's huge i think i think that 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 concept of duty is a huge source of trauma for the whole family i think that any anything that's sort of about a royal family that comes up as mm. such a huge because it's about sacrifice isn't it you know what do you give up of yourself in order to remain dutiful mm. um i think for helena it's something i thought a lot about because i think that she's really seeing firsthand the effect that a life in service to duty has had on her mother on mm. alison and Helena's really reckoning with like, is it, it, do I have to choose between my life and the thing and the people I hold dear to me and this duty that we have yeah, yeah. to like fight back or whatever and what's it mm -hmm. all for? Um, yeah, I think it's an interesting theme, like whether or not love trumps duty or duty trumps love, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's funny how in this season, um, the male characters lose a lot their temper and we could say that you are all drama kings in this season mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> who is the biggest drama king in this season in your opinion oh now that would be spoiling it's, it's well oh. but yeah i think it's yeah, yeah i think it's to what damon I can, oh, what oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> no. um yeah I, I can definitely see yeah Egon, damon um I think Eamon kind of likes to... I think Eamon's being a drama king. I think he's well in his right. He is. But, I mean, just... Yeah. yeah, I haven't... Yeah. I wasn't in the scenes with him. Mm-hmm. Some of them. Um, but yeah, Damon, for sure. He probably gives less of a... Yeah. I think he's I think he's more throwing his toys out the pram, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's interesting because uh, Matt Smith said Eamon, so... <laughs> really? Could well, you did he, did he? he said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, that you are okay. the drama king. Yeah, yeah, you see. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, in that case, I go on the record and say Damon. <laughs> <laughs> and and we are going towards the Euro 2024. Uh, yeah. If your character, um, if your character was um, a player, what what kind of player do you think would be? 
What kind of player? In or like, yes, you want to say who in the England team? Who in the England team? <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be, I mean, I don't know too much about um, no. the Euros of football, but I'd, maybe like a um, like a winger, someone who runs fast, and I can just imagine Eamon with his long flowing locks. Yeah. You know, just he that. Oh, he, it'd be Haaland. It'd be Haaland. He's yeah. Erling Haaland. <laughs> <laughs> Um. I think, yeah, and I think that Helena is Leah Williamson, because I love her. <laughs> <laughs> She's blonde. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Bye. Have a great Ciao. day.